everyone and welcome to the channel. Do you resell on eBay, Poshmark, or any of the other selling platforms? If that's a yes, then you're in the right place. I research brands and categories on eBay and let you know what's worth reselling. Recently, I spotted some McDonald's Garfield glass mugs at a yard sale. My husband decided to buy them, but I was hesitant. Then I wondered, are there any McDonald's items selling for big bucks on eBay? I found 30 current sales of McDonald's merch selling for over $100. Let's see what we can flip for a profit. The first thing that popped up when I searched for McDonald's merchandise over $100 selling on eBay were these Japanese Pokemon cards. So there were several different versions of these, obviously different characters. And this one happened to sell for $217, but I've seen some that go for $400 or $500. It just depends on which card they are. I'm showing you this just to get it out of the way, but chances are if you're in the US, you probably won't find this item. Now, I was surprised to see that McDonald's toys actually do sell. So this is McDonald's toy playset. It has a walkie-talkie headset and all the accessories are included, including the money. This one sold for $125, free shipping. So we can see the McDonald's play money. There's a burger. There's even a salad, which is cool. There's mustard and ketchup. You can see the headset there and some french fries and dipping sauces. I'm surprised it even has the baked apple pie. That's awesome. And then it has shakes and drinks and yogurts. This came with a lot of different accessories. I was surprised to find McDonald's figurines or toys in here. Most of them are not selling this high at all. And this happens to be a lot. So there's 60 of them. Uh, this lot sold for $105. This is the Disney 100 Years of Magic collection from McDonald's in 2002. Let's take a look and see which characters are included in this set. Alright, so I see here we have Chip and Dale. We have Lady and the Tramp. Ooh, that one's got a little bit of damage to the nose there. I see the crab from Mer Little Mermaid. Tarzan. Hercules. Aladdin. I see Bugs Life all the way in the back there. Aristocats. I see Mickey, even some vintage characters here. Wow, it's got the big bad wolf, Pocahontas. Seems like if you have a good collection, you may end up getting a little bit of profit. So this one was really good at $105. I don't think most McDonald's stores are gonna go for anything near this price. It just depends on which collection you have. Now I found this interesting. I did not expect plates from McDonald's to have any kind of value. These are from the 90s movie Hercules and this lot sold for $120 in free shipping. And I'm assuming these are plastic. They do look plastic. But I would recommend not running out and spending all your money on McDonald's plates. I would definitely research by the theme. So this one happens to be one movie theme. I know I've seen a mixed lot of these before at yard sales. And I'm pretty sure they don't go for much. So this happens to be uh, a unique situation. Where they actually had all five plates. And here's another playset. This one seems to be a bit older. This is a vintage Fisher Price version of the McDonald's playset. This sold for $135 and $11.45 shipping. And let's see what's included in this one. Okay, so we have the spatula, the french fries, dipping sauce, pickles, fry pan. Oh, this one comes with the hat also and the vest. That's a pretty big deal. I think those things matter. And oh, it says Fisher Price on the inside of the burger container. And here's a close up of the apron. Looks to be in half decent shape. All right, this next one is a collaboration. This is actually McDonald's. Disney and Coca-Cola. Don't see that every day. These are all golden arches with the Snow White and the Seven Dwarves characters and they all have a Coca-Cola on the pin. So I'm sure this was very unique and that is the reason it sold at auction for $175, $10 shipping. And we have Snow White there, we have the Prince, they have the whole collection here. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure because this is complete it gave it a little bit more of a push on the auction. And now we have the kitchen playset. This one sold for $130 and $34 shipping. So I think I've seen these before um, online. So this one is like a drive up window. It has the little trash can. It has the windows that pop open. And on the other side is the register that has a little frying basket and the skillet. Up next, we have another toy collection. Like I said, it's kind of hard to find toy collections that actually sell for this price. Um, but I did find a couple. So this is from 2001. This is the Lego Bionicle 
Tahonga and uh, it's got a whole set with with the disc. So I think these toys actually throw the disc. That's what it looks like. And this is a complete set of all six characters. They also have the Happy Meal box that they came in at the time. And they even show them in their packaging, which is nice. Up next, we have a Play School 1974 version of McDonald's, which is adorable. This sold for $125 and then $25 shipping. And you can see it has little people in there. They have square heads. There's a little play set here. There's little trays with food. Here's all the servers with their little hats. This is so nice. McDonald's sign. Now they have the fries, burgers, and shakes dispenser. Now I also found actual restaurant products that we're selling. So this is a promotional flag um, from McDonald's and it sold for $200 and then free shipping. This next one is, I believe, a music box and it sold for $100. So it's a cute little McDonald's music box of shaped like a burger. I love this. Oh, it's got a little teddy bear. Looks kind of damaged though. Yep, the arm is definitely gone. The little paw is gone. Aww. And you see the little workers on the inside. This is really cute. I can see why this would go for a lot of money. And it says, the bear turns to mop the stairs and greets patrons with a smile. Two young bears turn to each other as they enjoy a great taste of McDonald's. And this music box is from the company Inesco which I have talked about in my Christmas video because they have some products there too. They had some Christmas villages that were selling pretty well also. This next one is a surprise to me. I had no idea an ashtray could go for this much money. This went for $107 at auction and $10 shipping. This is a 1970s McDonald's uh, ashtray and it's apparently made of glass and I don't know and it also has like a spiral pattern on the inside. I guess that matters. <laughs> and it, this isn't a fluke. I actually found a bunch of these selling. So definitely keep out, uh, keep a lookout for this. This is definitely a bolo. Up next, we have Ronald McDonald, the telephone. This is from the 1980s. It's sold for $300 and free shipping. I'm wondering what the ringtone is. He looked kind of creepy in this one. This is the older version of Ronald McDonald. The only pho novelty phone I've ever sold was a Mickey Mouse one. So this is interesting. I wonder what it sounds like when it rings. And another piece of McDonald's equipment from the actual restaurant that was selling was the Play Place entry rules, which I found surprising. So I've seen these around, but this is an older one from the 90s. It sold for $600 and then the shipping was crazy, $347. But I do understand this is a large piece right here. It's not a small sign. It's actually the size of a kid or bigger actually than that. This is probably like five feet tall. It seems like it has some scrapes here from all the damage. And down here it says 1990. It's actually pretty dirty, ew. Now we have an inflatable. This is a seven foot tall advertising Ronald McDonald inflatable. This one sold for $650 and then $75 shipping. Wow, look how big this is. It's really cool though. And I love the shoelaces. Those laces are awesome. Here's another item from the actual restaurant. So this is a Grimace seat chair and it's the back of the chair. It sold at auction for $690 and $63 shipping. So you can see here, this is the actual chair. And here's the base. It used to have like something it was screwed into. It's obviously not there anymore. And it looks like there's some paint damage here, but I don't think that matters because it, this is extremely hard to find. I'm not surprised the bidding uh, went this high. Up next, we actually have a cookie jar. This is Hamburglar and this is from 1997. I did see a bunch of these selling over $100. So this is not a fluke. This one sold for $175 and free shipping. It's in great condition. Look at all the colors. Looks really nice. And this is from Treasure Craft. Here's another restaurant piece. This is a rolling high chair. Doesn't sound very safe to me, but uh, this is from the 80s, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> they weren't very careful back then. Uh, this sold for $325 and $40 shipping. The tray is really cool. It has this graphic on it, and the seat has a picture as well. 
Mm, at least it had some safety straps. That's a promising. Up next, we have the PHB Midwest Cannon Falls McDonald's hinge boxes. Uh, this is something I've never heard of or seen of before, but this is very interesting. It sold for $400 and free shipping. So we're going to take a better look because I don't know what these are about. These are like jewelry boxes or something. They're so different than all the other things. They're not an actual toy. And it comes with a ketchup pouch. That's really neat. And this one, the strawberry shake comes with the strawberry. So it says PHB collection. So I'm guessing these are ceramic. That's really cool. And this one has a pickle. There's a lot of detail on this burger with all these sesame seed uh, bumps. <laughs> All right, I had another vintage playset. This is from Fisher Price. This one sold at auction for $104 and $11.70 shipping. So this one's different than the other ones I showed you. This one has the hotcakes, the breakfast platter, and it has chicken nuggets and barbecue sauce. And this is another decoration from the restaurant. It's sold at auction for $276 and $10.55 shipping. These are framed, raised, painted uh, decorations for the restaurant. They're like really cool embossed plaques. And so this is the back and they're really colorful and pretty. I love these. A lot of detail in there. And I had one more. So this one's actually Ronald McDonald. I'm assuming this is in the play area and this would be where kids usually had their birthday party. So it makes sense that Ronald is holding a birthday cake. This one also sold at auction for $200 and $10.55 shipping. And I have another version of the phone. So this one's from 1985. This one sold for $125 free shipping. I'm trying to figure out how this one works. Wow, so this one actually has the buttons on Ronald's back end. That is really funny. It's so different. And you can see here his face has some damage, like the nose is not as red and the hair is being the, the hair color is wearing off. So this isn't in great shape, but it's still sold because it's so unique. And this one's adorable. This is another piece from the restaurant. This is a cheeseburger seat chair stool. <laughs> and it's got the cute little googly eyes on it. This sold for a crazy amount of money. How did a burger chair sell for $2,235 at auction? I have no idea. Someone really wanted this. Um, it was sold for, with free shipping. And you can see how big it is. It's not massive. And it has a little bit of damage. You can see some dirt on there. And this is where it's supposed to screw in into the base. And it's like this weird foamy plasticky stuff. So it's kind of squishy. I remember that. And I had no idea this game existed. This is from Sega Genesis 1993. Um, so this video game is McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure. And it sold at auction for $170, $5.55 shipping. If you ever see this, definitely pick it up. Um, this sold more than once um, on eBay. So it says, Ronald McDonald finds an old map and decides to take an adventure. But he's only got one piece. A trio of villains are holding their pieces and just waiting for Ronald to show up. This is so neat. Up next we have Garfield. So I've done plenty of plush videos and I have talked about Garfield and it all depends on which Garfield you have. I actually have a Garfield who's like got the snow theme with a toboggan and he doesn't sell for much, but this one happens to have McDonald's gear on and it's selling for $125. So Garfield's vintage plush will sell, but you're just gonna have to be careful and make sure you get ones that are unique. It can't just be a plain old Garfield. It has to have something special about it. So this one's from 1981 and this is from Dokken or Dakin. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, and it sold for $125 and $12.55 shipping. And I found another cookie jar. This is Ronald McDonald's from 1997. This is another Treasure Craft. It's the same company making these McDonald's cookie jars. This one sold for $120 and $17.25 shipping. And I love the detail in this one. This one's in very good condition. There's no damage to it. Nice and vibrant colors. Up next, we actually have hats. So this is a vintage McDonald's Big Mac hat. I guess it's an employee's hat. Um, made in USA. It says never worn from 1984. Holy cow. Uh, this one sold for $150 free shipping. And it looks like this is a cloth material that's been printed with the graphic. Here's the inside. 
And our final item is a Danbury Mint McDonald's station wagon. So this one sold at auction for $172 and $10.55 shipping. I did see more than one of these selling. This one has the old mascot for McDonald's. Oh, and the car door is even open. Wow. Very nice. Lots of detail underneath too. And it says there's one near you. We have sold over a hundred million. Uh, they're in the billions now, but that's a really cool item. Okay, so there you have it. There were over 1400 solds for McDonald's merchandise selling for over $100 on eBay. And I just showed you at least 30 that are selling online. And I hope you found this information useful. Please remember to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment letting us know which brands or categories you'd like us to research in the future. Thanks for watching.